those like really awkward bathroom situations, no, I, I ain't gonna have any part. First you have these, sometimes you get a bathroom that sometimes the stall door doesn't lock, it's like you're sitting there and you're like holding the door shut with one hand while you're, you're doing your business and sometimes people don't respect the uh, hands in front of doors. And then you have those like really, really awkward people that talk to random people in the stall next to them and you're like, why? He starts talking and you're just like, why, why are you talking to me? I don't, I don't want to talk to you. And then you have those like awkward like, um, the silent thing where you're just waiting for the next person to leave so that you can just go in peace, you know, go to the bathroom in peace so that you don't have to worry about anybody hearing you or any of that stuff. And then you're just waiting there awkwardly and then the guy sitting next to you is doing the exact same thing and you're just awkwardly sitting there like, well, gonna be here for a while. And then you pull out your phone <laughs> and then you just start playing little games and then you forget to turn the sound off. And the people next to you are like, really bro, really, you. You, you brought in your phone to the bathroom. And then sometimes you purposely make loud noises to cover up your like bowels giving way. You know, you're sitting there going <clears throat> clear your throat while you're like taking like, you know, a, a big dump. <laughs> Honestly guys, I do that sometimes too. Everybody does it, just saying. And then sometimes when you don't have to go number two, you have to go number one and you go up to the urinal. This is just for guys, by the way. So when you go up to the urinal and then this guy comes in right next to you. And there's like three other ones that he could have gone to, but no, he chose the one right next to you. Okay, and I, it's like really, bro, bro, back off. I don't want you seeing my junk. And then you have those dads or moms that bring in their children into the stall with them, and then you hear them trying to crawl underneath the big stall, and you're just like, get back, you devil, like get back, you know. And then you're just like, you just don't want children in your stall looking at you. It's just creepy. This little kid crawling underneath you and being scarred for life. Like, that little kid could be, he could have had a clean mind, he could have grew up, but then one day he decided to explore the underworld of the bathroom stall. And then, sometimes you have those like, um, fancy restaurant or Walmart bathrooms <laughs> that it, it flushes automatically. And basically you're just sitting there on the toilet perfectly still, trying not to set it off so it doesn't go without you and then people think you're done and then you never come out of the stall. So you're just like sitting there, just like, perfectly still. Wondering if it's gonna flush or not. And then the best part that I have noticed with people is that they never, never check if there's toilet paper before they go. So you, you're done with your thing and you're reaching for the toilet paper and you're just like, oh gosh, no, not today. So what are you gonna do? Just like awkwardly get up and put your pants on and go to the next stall, get some toilet paper, walk back, or just wipe your butt in that stall that you got the same toilet paper from? But then that's just weird. And then when you're sitting there and then you see this person's foot just randomly crawl into the stall next to you and you just stare at his foot you're just like okay you gotta track his every move to see what he's doing you know and then you know you got you sometimes you even calculate if he's going number one or number two by the way which way his feet are pointing don't don't ask me why i know that please you can't imagine that there's like this much space between you and the other guy going to the bathroom and a little thin wall that could protect you from life or death and then the best part is when you're washing hands and then see out of the corner of your eye Right out of the corner of your eye, some guy goes out of the stall and just walks right out the door without washing his hands. And then you realize, someday, you might have to meet that person out in the real world, and then you realize you have flashbacks to when he didn't wash his hands, okay? Like, in the real world, people, wash your dang hands, please. Like, that's, oh, it's as simple as that, please. And then, after you wash your hands, we're kind of getting winded down to the thing here, you wash your hands, and then you look over, no paper towels. First you have no toilet paper, then you have no paper towels, okay? Walking out of the bathroom going like this rubbing your hands on it or going like that you know people are looking at you like dude are you just like wiping the nasty pee off your hands or something because that's just weird you know you're walking out sore just like clapping your hands or you know whatever and then the people that don't dry their hands and then touch a doorknob you touch the doorknob and it's like ah please let that be water please please let that be water and then if you have those like really weird ones where they have the electric hand dryers and sometimes you were just waiting for someone to turn on the hand dryer to make the whole bathroom sound like a tornado or a hurricane or whatever, depending on where you live, so that you can just go in peace. And hopefully, the bathroom is really packed, so that it's constantly going. You sit there and go, yo, I ain't got nothing on me. You're just sitting all there, sprout out, you know, just doing your business, and then it turns off, and you're like, oh, shoot. Did somebody hear that, you know? And you're just like, and then to top it all off is the danger of somebody that got the one that 
didn't have the one that locked, and they forgot to put the door in front of it, or their hand in front of the door, stop it from moving, you open the door. But ching guess who's there? Mr. Old Grandpa going to the bathroom. Sometimes maybe with his grandchild, which is really disturbing. And now I can't really unsee that. Oh my gosh. Walking in on somebody is just like the epitome. You never want to see that. Never. But yeah, guys, if many of you, probably all of you, have at least done one of these weird, awkward public bathroom thingamajig, and if you haven't, I want to get to know you. How do you do it? Because there's just these weird things that you just can't avoid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and leave a like, and subscribe if you feel like it, and look forward next to my next rant, whatever I'm going to do next, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.